Hogwarts is closed for COVID. What remote learning alternatives are there for wizards and witches? But Everyone gets a moving painting of their teacher, so they can learn from home. I second this. Along with sending assignments using owls or flu powder. How do muggle-born kids handle this? You know that bubble charm used during the tree wizard tournament? Second this. Although wouldn't it be difficult for students to sustain this all the time? It's never been exactly clear how long it lasts or how many spells you can cast while using it. Also, I can see there being some purebloods who refuse to use this just because they think it's some lowly muggle disease and it offends their pureblood pride or whatever. Students at one point seemed to use it a lot after the We Are Light wins left when it was common for students to try and disrupt the school under Prof Umbridge's leadership by throw dung bombs and stink pellets backslash zero between classes and we know it was used for over an hour as Cedric returned after the second task just outside the time limit of an hour, so it might be possible for them to have hour long classes and then each class be escorted back to their common rooms by a teacher, like in the Chamber of Secrets, so they limit interactions with other houses. It would be like wearing a mask in class and social distancing in the corridors. Hogwarts wouldn't close for COVID. Hogwarts didn't even close when magical Hitler returned from the dead and was conducting an active pogrom in the area and had some of his people as infiltrators running the place. It didn't even close for the giant ducking snake that was going around petrifying people or for the soul-eating demons tracking down a serial killer. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Mascabin. Harry Potter and the Awkward Zoom Meeting. Just pictured a flu fire divided into 9 squares. It's not closed. They probably don't even know what covered is. Some muggle thing only muggles get. Probably. If anyone gets sick then they'll just have em chug potions. Until they are fine again. And then of course. Never bother to share. Said potions with the muggles dying by the thousands. Well, if you cure the muggles of this virus, they're going to be demanding handouts from the wizard world for all their problems. They'll be swarming into Diagon Alley bringing murderers and rapists. And also I assume some very fine people. The point is, we won't be safe until we build a wall to keep them out. Slashes. There are now furious discussions on the UK bad witching messaging boards about the uptick in the sightings of owls carrying scrolls. I wonder how many muggleborns and parents and siblings of muggleborns and squibs were on these messaging boards and took it upon themselves to run counterintelligence, diverting suspicion in a time the consensus got close to the truth. So. Here's where the horror of COVID comes into play. Picture Harry Potter in his abusive home and in lockdown. I remember reading reports about a massive increase in domestic violence when lockdown started. Yeah and especially with people losing their jobs and having to be stuck at home all day. It has a tendency to get worse unfortunately. Flu meetings. Just try not to eat soot as you stick your head in the fire. I second this. But imagine the mass knee pain from both teachers and students because of kneeling all the time. It would also be hard to do practical lessons this way. Anything that involves using magic would be out. Witches and wizards can easily heal on magical diseases. This is covered in the books. Injuries or normal sicknesses can be wand waved away. It's only the magically caused afflictions that require a really advanced magical treatment. Remember when Madame Pomfrey said it would have only taken seconds to fix Harry's broken arm. But since Lockhart had zapped his bones away it would take all night. It's likely that covered would just be a nuisance. A quick charm to zap it off each kid on arrival. The really scary alternative is that covered is a magical illness which has escaped out of the wizarding world into the muggle world. The wizards are scrambling to figure out how to fix it. And also how to cure the whole muggle world without blowing cover. A very tense meeting ensues between the Minister of Magic and the Prime Minister. Trump and Boris have just been confounded this whole time. There is no way I will find a comment more amazing than this. I'm leaving the thread. Every single lesson taught via Howler. Ron Wheelie I know you aren't paying attention even with this Howler. Remember. It's Leviosa. Not Leviosa. You duckwit. I laughed very hard at this. You think Poppy fucking Pomfrey, the bossiest witch ever, 
wouldn't have a potion against something near as covered. Pomfrey wouldn't need a potion. One look and the virus would just pack its bags and be apologizing on its way out. You've infected people for nearly 5 minutes. Now out. Out. They could use the flu network like the talking head thing. Talking patronas. Two way mirrors as shown in books 5 and 7. Chalkboards that have a prosient charm on them like the DA's coins. So many possibilities. And I'm not a Harry Potter nerd at all. Flu network. Heh. I literally just got done watching all of the movies. They didn't close when the Chamber of Secrets was open. Or when Sirius Black was on the loose. Certainly not when Voldemort had confirmed by the Ministry returned. Covered won't even be a problem. Thede have magical personal protection barriers to prevent the spread of the disease and or have a cure for it shortly. They also live in a 9 month bubble. Just spitballing here, since I'm not like super well versed on Harry Potter lore. Read the first book and watched all the movies. Anyway I think a big issue would be that, if I remember correctly, it's essentially a rule that you can't use magic as a student when you aren't on campus. Like I get that you could say well classes are still in session, so they would just have a waiver to practice at home. But the issue is that when they practice spells on campus they have like a master level professor right there with them and their school's magical nurse's office available so when things go haywire you have someone who can jump right in and counter the spell or whatever and people trained in healing any sort of magical mishap all there. If you are practicing at home and turn yourself into a frog or something then I would imagine even if a professor can see it via crystal ball or something then there is to be some range limit on their ability to step in. And people like Ron seem to live out in the middle of nowhere. Or worse still you might have a student like Harry who doesn't have like permanent residence in the magical world. And lives in the muggle world and good luck getting that home study approved. Or getting them help if something goes wrong without a big scandal. It's essentially a rule. That you can't use magic as a student, when you aren't on campus, you can use it in emergencies. Like Harry did in Order of the Phoenix. I'm sure a global pandemic would count. Yeah I get, that it makes sense you can use it, if like a dragon is about to bite your head off or something. But I dk if the relative risk, that I pointed out really overrides I don't want to be a semester behind as a real emergency. It's not like an immediate life or death situation. I can't think of any answers, but holy crap this is a creative question. Yeah exactly what I was think reading the responses, even though I don't get half of them lol. Broom, online meetings. Good one. They didn't close, when sudden death could be lurking around any corner, they aren't gonna close for a virus. Oh well. Guess it's time to lock up that Hagrid guy again. That'll teach the virus. Scribe. A pin sieve installed in every student home. Learn from the memories of others. No need to thank me. That's how you get essays talking about how big Morgan's schnoz was, and how Nicholas Flamel has been secretly picking his nose for 600 years. Zip about the actual topic. They wouldn't close. They would cast a magic bubble around all students, and call the practice of keeping it up, and active extra credit. Any student caught with their bubble down loses points for their house. Any student showing symptoms is sent to Madame Pomfrey to suffer in shame for their muggle level ineptitude. After all, COVID is preventable without magic. Add magic into the mix and suddenly there are no excuses. No options are available BC wizards have zero ability to adjust or innovate. C. Still using freaking quill and ink. When ballpoint pens exist, it would just fully close, like they did in 1500 for the black plague and everyone would sit around at home and invent more kinds of wizard fireworks or whatever. The ministry would stay open and everyone would use bubblehead charms all day. Arthur Wheelie gets unfairly picked on for his love of muggles. He's so enthusiastic about how creative they are. The adaptations they've come up with when magic isn't an option. That enthusiasm and respect kept him low in the ministry thanks to the systemic wizard sense of superiority. Yeah. It's ridiculous when you think about. He's clearly trying to understand muggle technology and figure out what can be integrated into wizard society, but they all look down on him for it. Hogwarts is the only place where one saying it will magically go away. 
has some credibility to it. Magic mask filters. Flume meetings. They employ the ghosts to visit the children and teach. They already have one teaching. The thought of Mask Denny is just popping into my fireplace and wandering around inside my house just gave me insane anxiety. How the hell do you defend yourself from the flu network if your house has a fireplace? I think it's in the beginning of Go F where the Wheelies pick Harry up from the Dursleys. Entering the Dursley home via the fireplace. That sucker was ducking walled up as part of a house renovation. And a couple of one flicks punched it all out of the way. Off topic. But if I was sipping tea on my couch one second. And helplessly watching my sitting room getting pelted with wall debris the next second. I'd hate wizards too. We can see from this incident that not even a sturdy physical barrier will keep them out. Don't let JK Rowling see this. Are you kidding? Madam Pomfrey would have that cured within a week. Otherwise I'm sure they'll just use the personal quarantine spell or some other plot device until it's sorted. Howlers. COVID-19 is a muggle disease. It can't hurt US pure bloods. One day later, Malfoy starts having problems breathing. It's obviously a hex by some Gryffindors. Ha. Nice try muggle. Coronatus in Pero. Microsoft Teams would be an option. Can't they do a bubble head charm or something? More effective than masks, I bet. Excuse me, ah. Are you a mask? Did I offend you? Whatever might they be doing, just don't let J. K. Rowling answer this. University of Phoenix. If they wanted to teach students from home they could all be given two-way mirrors like the one Sirius used with James and later gifts to Harry. They would be able to see and hear each other just like video chats. Knowing the wizarding world. Covered is actually a cover-up for a group of dark wizards using their signature hexes in the open. I'm sure the ministry has had a hell of a time trying to keep this under wraps. I mean honestly. How many more times can they obliviate? Trump before the muggles start getting suspicious. Do normal classes, and if someone has covered. Avada Kedavra, or as Slytherin call it, normal school day. The decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery would have to be temporarily suspended or modified, in order to allow any form of remote slash alternative learning to be done. Everybody would have to learn how to send patronus messages like the ones McGonagall. Shacklebolt and Snape used in order to communicate the lessons to the students. Students with at least one wizard or witch parent in the household, such as the Malfoys or Finnegans, would have a leg up on practicing and learning magic over somebody like Harry or Hermione, who live with only muggles. A sponsorship program or something similar would have to be done for students like Harry and Hermione, where they would go to live with a wizarding family. Harry would end up with the weird lies. Hermione might end up with the Wheelies as well. Or perhaps with the Browns or Paddles. If they did in school learning, bubble charms would be required. Supplies would all have to be through owl post slash mail order. There'd be a ducton of owls delivering, not just the basic restocked items, quills, ink bottles, potions ingredients, or each year's new items, new textbooks, class specific supplies like dragon hide gloves for herbology, but stuff for new students like cauldrons, robe fitting and one selection by Madame Malkin and Arlivinda, respectively, would be by appointment only. Sending essays to the teachers wouldn't be difficult, but sending a vial of a particular potion, or demonstrating the performance of a particular charm or spell might be a bit difficult to handle. Neville is gonna blow his computer up every time. Seamus? Yay probably I didn't really pay attention to the movie. Conference calls with Microsoft Coven. Just take a bezoar and open the schools. Covid is no match for Madame Pomfrey. Expect Ono Rona. But what about the Hufflepuff Circle Jerk sessions? They can cure Covid in an instance with Avada Kedavra. Hogwarts is already pretty isolated, and no one can just apparate onto the grounds. So visitors can be restricted. 
It's also a boarding school, so students and visitors can be quarantined. If anything, visits to Hogsmeade would be eliminated, and arrival day may be two weeks or so earlier to allow for quarantines prior to class. Life at school might look a little different, with house elves bringing food to the house common rooms instead of the main hall. Madam Pomfrey would potentially be busy, but in betting there are spells to make her life easier. My boyfriend knows a whole lot about Harry Potter, and according to him, they would all just use bubble head charms and be fine. Broom meetings. Covid is a muggle disease. Harry Potter and the Deathly Pandemic. Call Hermione. She knows everything about everything. Covid doesn't exist. We are currently experiencing the third wizarding war. As muggles we have no idea who is responsible, but the ministry is trying to cover up the deaths by saying it's corona. Whether it's a magical virus, mass spell, potion or curse, we can't tell. But the Dementors are certainly helping the other side. Good luck Hermione. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.